Sawate, I am Jeffrey, and we are playing Equinox. And I'm David. That's David. Right. I was pointing, but you can't see that. Hey, okay. Show. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a dramatic entrance. The second level here is called Tori, and it's sort of a caverny, caverny kind of level with um, upside down cups that you can push around. So it's kind of like uh, what's that poker game? Uh, the... I don't I don't know. Three card Monty, there you go. Three card Monty. Yes. Okay. I don't think it's a poker game. I think poker is a type of card game. Whatever. But, okay. Here is our new weapon. It is the Shuriken. I switched that real fast. The Shuriken does an extra point of damage, making it awesome, especially for this room. Actually, this entire dungeon. A lot of the tokens um, rely on you killing all of the enemies in a room, and it is an extreme pain. The first time I ran through this, on my first test of this uh, level, I didn't get the shuriken until the end, and it was quite a pain in the butt. Plus, the video went on for like 30 or 40 minutes because of it. Anyways, the, uh, the shuriken, it has two different firing speeds. Um, when you're just standing still, it'll fire at uh, sort of a normal vo velocity, but if you're moving, it'll actually move twice as fast. Um, that doesn't really ever come come in to play handy. just come, come in handy just in the boss fights oh because okay. um, you can you can actually change up the uh, uh, this is a a mind bending little Escher puzzle here uh, I could walk around for an hour and try and push all the blocks or I could just show you which one it is it's that one this is teaching you an important lesson you should you should try pretty much every block in a room um, this Coming up in this next room here, uh, these guys do not walk across the entire length of the mushrooms, so you can, uh, there's a safe spot. Ooh, safe spot. Ooh, safe spot. Uh, flashing doors, of course, rely on the all the enemies to be dead. Yeah, there's two Zelda. movable blocks here, and you have to move both of them in order to make the jump across all four spikes. Now, I actually got this on the first try, hooray, uh, but this is an exceedingly difficult jump. <laughs> Um, just as a just as a sort of rule of thumb, you can push it maybe three or four sort of little rumbles off the side without touching the spikes. So you should use that to get an extra, extra distance. Uh, now in order to make it back, do what I do here and jump just a little bit to the left in order to get on the edge of the block. Uh, and then as you get to the edge, you will catch uh, the opposite edge. So sort of jumping in between, the, like I guess the groove between the blocks. That's going to come in very handy in the later levels when the jumps become pixel perfect, which is, you know, always fun. And that was Glendall trying to move in uh, one of the cardinal directions, so. This game is hard. Uh, this game is hard. Uh, this level is not hard, <laughs> however. Just, you explain it and it sounds I, I complex. It does. Um, there's a few trouble spots like that room that we just came out of that was provided lots of, lots of ire in days of yore. Days so, of your days of ah yeah good old days of your and there was a lot of your lying around yeah when it was the principal export of our country but no longer now it's jelly we are good at jelly yeah, grape jelly I guess American grape well no we, we, grape we, jelly. we've got some good uh, we got some good uh, jalapeno jelly jalapeno gen jelly yeah, it's pretty good and we've got uh, some salsa jelly and not I've without got, its yeah not without its charm I have had boysenberry jelly. I'm, I'm thinking that you made up that berry, but okay. no, boysenberry. It's a real thing. I think it's inside your head. It is not. Well, it exists in my head because it's a real thing. What we I have think. here is a blue door, and the way that this dungeon is laid out, that will lead to the boss. Um, but there's basically the dungeon is a huge circle, and we'll be coming around to the opposite side of actually that white gate. So, when we get around to the other side, you'll see that we'll pick up a blue key. Uh, basically, you can do either side first. I just chose this one because this is the path that leads you to the uh, shuriken the quickest. Now, are all enemies like color coded? Yes, they are. Uh, color coded uh, based on uh, their strength. Green being the weakest, white being the strongest. Uh, this this room here can be done either with the magic spell, which we haven't got yet, um, or with the shuriken. Of course, with both, it's even easier. But this this can't be done with the knife you get from Galadonia. So it's important to because you can't kill the yeah, first one fast enough. Yeah, and th they'll come back on you, and you'll end up you know going and dying. So plus, you need to kill them because they uh, give you a token, as well as open the door. 
So why is it that you shove against the wall? Sometimes? Uh, I shove against the wall just to make sure that I'm out of their uh, out of their way, because the the knights don't go all the way to the corner. <laughs> What's going on, Kevin? We're in the middle of recording something. We're like in the middle of recording something, so like we're watching a video. And Potion we're increases doing a little, magic. Uh, little uh, thing where we're yeah. Just a factual statement while Jeff is on the phone with so, yeah, Kevin. I'm on, yeah. Hi, Kevin. Hey, uh, hey, Kevin. You want to add anything to the uh, the uh, let's play of Equinox that we're doing? Let's see what he said. What does he say? Uh, Kevin is reticent to provide any details. I think it's because he's such a game master that he doesn't want to ruin it for everyone else that wants to have their own fun with the game. Indeed. I suspect this is true. This is Equinox? Equinox for the Super Nintendo. It's the, it's the very okay. pretty one. He said, and oh, I died. he died. I got greedy, that's why. Okay. Okay, I will, I will call you back. <laughs> okay. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. And that was our friend Kevin. Oh, uh, that was cameo by Kevin. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll see him later. I don't know. And I'd like to point out we're the kind of show where everybody has a first name. That's true. None of us have real last names. Though. Not not real last names. No. We um, all have this occupations. Is, um, to reference is actually going on. This is. I I died here because I got a little greedy. I miscounted the number of shots I thought it would take to kill that stupid uh, red ghost. Like um, green key or whatever his name was. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna need the green keys. Uh, now, I don't go to the upper right uh, path there because it just leads around to an area that you've already seen, so it would just be unnecessary. Um, one thing you learn about the uh, dungeon design in Equinox is that sometimes you don't need all of the rooms and sometimes you don't even need all of the keys. So there's a little bit of, um, I guess, a different way to play it depending on which way you go. Uh, these middle gates will line first, so line up first, so that's how you get through there. This is an exceedingly annoying uh, room. You can only get one, two maximum shots in. Um, this uh, this level or this level this room is made somewhat easier by the slow spell. Spoilers. And uh, you, you see, just died. See that was me getting greedy. Got a little too close to that guy there. Uh, so I left that in as a as a warning to others. <laughs> so this uh, this game is a lot about. Yeah. Just. It's dying. Patience and yeah, taking your shots when you can. After the first one's dead, much easier. It just gets easier after that. Now, you also have to be careful not to get greedy here and be like, oh, yeah, and it, there's only one guy left, and then oh, you I run can, into I him. And then, and then, yeah, he, and then he, 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 he smashes yeah. your face. And smashes your face, and which. Do the know. green guys. Okay, green guys always go the whole length? Now, I haven't quite figured out. Um, the AI on those uh, knights completely, but I'm thinking that the ones that bounce back and forth um, they don't go the entire length of a screen. It's a little bit less than that. It just looks like they do because they're all bunched up. Mm -hmm. And the white um, ones follow a set path, probably. I think that all enemies can do either one of those, but I don't, I'm not really sure. Okay. This is the end of the first half.